Hey guys, Ernie here, and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. We're out for a little overnight adventure on the Backbone Trail, and I'm going to use this to sleep in today. This is not Nature Hike. It says it on there because I stole this bag. This is actually the 2008 Lanshan 3FUL tent, two-person tent, and I've used it on several videos. People have asked me to do a full review, so that's what we're going to do today. Stay tuned, and we're going to check out this tent. Thanks for watching, guys. Trying to show you guys what this tent's all about here. It's kind of a similar design to the duplex from Z Packs, but this tent you can buy on uh, AliExpress, which is kind of like the uh, Chinese version of Amazon. There are some things that I've added that are more expensive. I've got some carbon fiber tent posts from Z Packs and uh, that lightens the load quite a bit. I'll put the weights and everything over here for you guys right now so you can check it out, uh, what the weight is total, what the weight is with, um, you know, out of the factory, and then what the weight is with the stuff I have. Um, it's designed to be used with two hiking poles. Now, I usually don't go with trekking poles, so I bought these. These are um, carbon fiber uh, poles from Z-Packs. Um, these are the ones that you can use with the duplex and of course probably one of these days I'll, I'll bite the bullet and buy that tent because it seems like a really great ultralight tent so I, I didn't feel bad about spending the money on these even though this is a relatively inexpensive tent these allow me for um, you know ounces to to set it up basically you just unroll it I got all kinds of stuff in here I'm gonna set up a little time lapse of me putting this up and then we'll talk about it So not the perfect pitch, but I'm tired. I'm, I'll tweak with it a little bit more. Took me about um, maybe five minutes to put it up, I would imagine, probably something along those lines. Now, this is not perfect because my, I'm, I'm kind of at an angle. This is the flattest spot I could find up here that wasn't underneath any trees that worried me. So not perfect from that standpoint. It's not as angled as it looks on the screen. It looks like that, but it's, uh, I'll sleep with my head up that way. I'd say my head will probably be somewhere around two inches higher than my, than, uh, than my feet. So not terrible. Let's talk a little bit about specs on this particular model. It is a two person tent. It's made uh, everywhere is 15 D nylon, except for the tub floor is 20 D nylon. So it is a little bit stronger. Now I would recommend using a ground tarp. I don't, I guess I just like to live dangerously. I just don't want to carry the extra weight but probably would be a good idea. I did spend a good five minutes cleaning off this area, got all the pricklies up to make sure that I wouldn't have anything underneath me in there. It weighs two pounds, nine ounces. Now that is straight out of the factory. Again, I'll put up here what it weighs with the changes that I made, which is changing the stakes out for carbon fiber stakes. And then uh, of course the factory doesn't include uh, weight on the actual poles. You're gonna have to factor that in if you carry trekking poles you have to factor that in I use the carbon fiber poles from Z packs which are very light again I'll put the weight over here on the side it's a six feet ten inches long three feet seven inches wide and three feet eleven inches tall the factory it includes a tent it includes a fly it includes stakes two additional wind ropes that you can attach to different areas if it's going to be windy you get all this for $107 shipped which is pretty impressive now that's from AliExpress you have to wait uh, 21 to 24 days for it to come in because uh, it, it comes straight over from China. Uh, the same tents are on Amazon for 160, 170 bucks. So you can definitely save yourself some money if you're willing to wait. Let's take a look at some of the details so you can see what it's all about. So again, you can see where you put the stakes in. I actually need to fix that. That stake right there, can't see in the sun. That stake, it actually has a little loop right there where I need to loop it in so it helps keep it together a little bit better. Has uh, doors on both sides. These zip up. You can uh, attach them here. You can see we've got little tabs here to attach them, roll them back to keep them out of the way. Okay. 
This is reinforced up in here. Inside here is a little cup of reinforcement so that your stake or your trekking pole will not pound through there. It's all very well sealed. I did seam seal these right here. I can feel the silicon right there. So this seam sealed right there. That's the only two places that I've seam sealed. I've been in this tent in the rain once, had no leaks. So we'll see, it's not supposed to rain tonight, thank goodness. So we'll hopefully not have any more issues there. You can see here how the tub design works. It is attached up there. Uh, the tub is attached to the fly. And when you tension the fly, it tensions the tub. And I've got this big old bug. Look at that bad boy, huh? Bugs love this tent. They love getting in between the fly and the mesh. That guy right there is the first. On this trip, go around over here. You can see the tent. Uh, like I said, decent pitch, got a big crease there. It's not perfect. I think it's not gonna be perfect because of the angle that I'm set up at. Again, this should be right up close to the ground, but I like having a little bit more room and it's not gonna rain, so I'm not worried about it. Look from the other side, very nice tent. This side, same thing. You can zipper this open so you can have easy access to both sides. Uh, one person on each side, that works out really, really well. Let me take y'all inside. I did roll up that door, you can see it. One of the things that I'm not super excited about that I wish was a little different was that it only opens on this side. You can't get in on that side, which is fine as long as you set it up this way. Um, just unzip it like this and you are inside. Same thing here. You can easily just roll this up if you want to. It's got a little tab. What I was talking to you guys about, there's a little loop down here, so we'll just put this through that loop and tighten it up, and that will make sure that this stays on here. I've got plenty of headroom up here. I have two little hooks up here that I can hang a light from, etc. You can see that the, the bathtub is up off the ground. Hope you can see that. Up off the ground about three, four inches. And that's nice in case there is rain, it won't come in here. I would not pitch my tent here if I was expecting rain because it's going to come down and cause a major issue. There's a, a kind of a, a, he, a hill up above me here. Um, but basic, it's a basic inside tent. There's a little uh, pouch up front up here and a little pouch over here you can put stuff in. And like I said, two little hooks that you can hang stuff up from the roof. But pretty straightforward. From what I can tell so far, I think this is the fifth night I stay in this tent. I have stayed in it in several scout uh, camp outs and it's worked very very well no problems whatsoever so far all the zippers are fine um, everything seems to be really really good I do like to to set it up uh, with the doors like I showed over there you know you can get that side doors to be right on the ground I like to leave them up it leaves a little bit more circulation and less condensation inside but overall can't be any happier with this particular tent so far so good at least for a hundred bucks all right everybody that's a look at the Lanshan tent this is from 3FUL again. Basically, it's a Chinese company that tries to make uh, more affordable ultralight gear. It's not super ultralight. Uh, you can definitely get lighter weight stuff that costs tremendously more, but for the price, it's really hard to beat. This is easily uh, put together. It's compact. It's, it's you know just over two pounds. You can trim the weight like I showed you guys by making some small changes to it and it's a hundred bucks shipped if you're willing to wait a little while for the shipping from China. Like I said, so far so good. Five, six nights, I can't remember for sure. Five, six nights in the tent, it still looks brand new to me. Um, I take very good care of my tents. When I'm done with them, I get them home. I uh, let them out in the sun to dry, make sure all the moisture's uh, gone from them so there's no mildew, stuff like that. That can really affect the stitching and all that stuff. You just don't wanna do that. You wanna put it away nice and clean. I think quality control is very good. And if I take good care of it, I think this tent will last me a very long time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've had a lot of requests to take a better look at this particular tent. I hope that uh, the information I gave you guys was useful. If you liked the video, please make sure and give it a subscription down below. It helps spread it across YouTube and helps the channel overall. If you like the content and you wanna see more content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. The channel does continue to grow and it's been great. It's exciting uh, times here on the channel. I really enjoy doing this. How hard can it be to be out here and enjoy this wonderful sunshine? I'm gonna be making myself a fire here soon. I am shooting this review video during an overnight adventure here on the Backbone Trail, so make sure you check that out. I'll leave a link down below, as it probably will come out before the review of this tent. 
check it out because it's been a great trip so far and we'll see what happens in the rest of the night and tomorrow as always guys i appreciate you checking out the paleo hiker md make sure you leave comments down below let me know what you think and stay tuned for more videos soon thanks guys